A very good morning, Team Zimbabwe. Welcome to Africa and Bain Television Network. And this morning, I need to quickly take a look on what is happening in the nation of Zimbabwe. A lot is happening, Team Zimbabwe, and we need to talk. Wopu Ochingono and his cabal, Team Murabo, Riyari, Arivara Kashi, Riri Kupenga, Riri Kubava, and they are accusing President Nusun Chamisa of abandoning the other comrades. And they are trying to say, Chamisa, and don't you run an anabiti, and don't you run an aningi, an aningi, a Ushande Navo, Zokera Kavaru and Unushanda Navo. And we need to take a look onto those statements in Zimbabwe. Is that the correct position we should follow? Personally, I doubt. Why? It's because it's not Nelson Chamisa who needs Tendaibiti. It's Tendaibiti who needs Nelson Chamisa. There is nothing Tendaibiti will do. Which other learned Zimbabweans will not do? We have so many economists in Zimbabwe who can even uh, come from independent uh, sources or places, cannot from the professional industry. It may save in slots, the van was in politics, but in business, who can be employed in the ministries, who can be ministers, seven ministers from non-sitting MPs, which means the President Nelson Chamisa can say, okay, I don't have economists on my team. Let me bring economists to lead the Ministry of Finance. He can opt to go and look for specialists in the Zimbabwean market. So many citizens, others who have worked in the diaspora, others who have worked in Zimbabwe, others who understand a lot which you are not in diabetes, do not understand. Yes, that is a fact. So this uh, uh, issue, Yaguti, uh, they want to say uh, Nelson Chamisa should unite with identified group of capable people. Who is capable more than the other? Where did you measure? their capability. During the GNU, what you have to understand is the economy of Zimbabwe worked because of the trust which was there for Morgan Tsangirai. That is the reason why the economy worked. Tendai BT failed during that particular moment of the GNU to create a sustainable environment for the economy of Zimbabwe beyond GNU. It was just a policy, we eat what we kill, we kill what we eat, this and that. But did we manage to, to, to make the people of Zimbabwe create jobs? No. The policy wasn't about that. Take a look on how people started to buy cars. These are people who were struggling even to fuel their own cars, but they were buying cars um, on a large scale, taking loans to buy cars. But in other countries, we would have seen a finance minister with uh, um, a, a, a clear view of the future. We could have seen him promoting people to take loans for business investment. Just imagine where we would be like right now if the people of Zimbabwe had not bought cars, but had invested immensely, creating jobs, creating opportunities, then the government would have chipped in to make sure that all those investments are protected. And you would have seen change going on and on and on and on. That is the kind of finance minister we need. We don't need somebody who will make it easy and cheaper for people to eat. We need somebody who is going to make it easy and cheaper for people to do business. Once you have completed that, once you have done that, you see people starting to invest and invest and invest and invest. The more we invest, you see those investments spreading even to the rural areas and you see things starting to work. So, what watching on is not gathering the same people he believes would bring change to say, guys, let us agree. No, Son Chamisa is leading. No, Son Chamisa does have an ideology. No, Son Chamisa does have his own principles. He does have his own direction and his own vision. Let's gather around him and follow him. Uh, Tim Zimbabwe, think of it. Imagine me, a me and me, in Inang. Don't you know what Chamisa is? You have Chamisa, you have a man. Are you going to be a man? Are you going to be a man? 
He is the visionary. This is the man we are all believing in. Even now, we are watching on Nana Tenda Ibiti. They believe that Nana Sonja Misa is the only foot forward. But Kungo Viringa Viringa Kwabari Kuita. They believe so. So if we all believe, who is supposed to follow who? It's me who will leave any other party and everything else and follow Nelson Chamisa. When I follow Nelson Chamisa, I don't go and dictate. It is, it is. I follow his vision. I get into his vision. I tap into his vision. Then we start to develop that vision going forward. Nelson Chamisa needs people who understand his vision, who start to think along his vision. Then to say, okay, this is the vision of the president. So what do we need to do? Let us start to explore opportunities along the, that, that vision. That is the kind of people we need. It's not Nelson Chamisa who should go and say, guys, come here. They are supposed to say, Tawia. And when you say Tawia, you don't expect to put you to to Zandawia and do what chairman. Zandawia and do what a portfolio leader. No. You wait to be appointed. You work, 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 and prove you're worthy. And then you get employed. It's like we are all in like a, a, a football team. When you are not in form, no matter how good you are or you were in the past, if you are not in form, the coach will not just play you because you were good in the past. He plays you because you are in form. And if, if somebody new comes and that person, new person is better than you, I'm telling you this. So we have a problem of elitism. And the people who will not support the democratic struggle um, uh, 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 simply because of hatred, simply because of jealousy. Saka, you know, let me play this video for the last time so that people like Wopo Chimun and Chendai Bit in Evangelisa. The position being taken by Nelson Chamisa is not his position, it's the position of the citizens of Zimbabwe. What do we need? What do we want? What are we envisioning? Let us hear this old man speak once again. Then Oposhon will tell you, Kuti Chamisa Zokera no Komra. When us, the citizens, are saying, Makabona President Makaba, what was you going to say? Zokera. Who does that? What's the agenda? So, Tim Zimbabwe, when you hear wisdom from our fathers, wisdom like this, you have to understand that Vana Opo Ochingono, they are not going to distract us or to move us from our position. We will keep on guarding our position. Why? It's because change is coming to the nation of Zimbabwe. And when that change comes, it will come without these tra uh, traitors. We don't care because we are capable to deliver. We are capable to make sure that we push for a better Zimbabwe. And nothing is going to stop us. Nothing, nothing. 